Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to my new course on SynthMaster 2.6 by a company called KV331. It's generally the most robust soft synth you can get. It does everything. That's why it's called SynthMaster. And in this video, we're going to be going over the general UI and topology, and it's kind of a brief introduction to what we'll be getting into, and we'll be getting into a lot. So generally, we have uh, two layers here. Uh, each layer consists of two oscillators or sound generators and uh, so we have two layers here we can go you know we could see the actual like signal path here filter one filter two and you just kind of route these kind of like massive uh, you can have in parallel series you can have your voices here so each part each layer has its own kind of voice selection unison of course all the usual suspects and uh, all that two filters each so a four filters, which is quite fun. Down here, we have our selection between oscillator one and oscillator two. Uh, there's just a lot, and you can see, like single cycle waveforms, we have a lot. We have like stuff from Big Tone, we have Waldorf kind of pulse ones, and you write, and you click, and you can cycle through them. And there's just a whole bunch, a plethora of uh, waveforms to get you started, not just the typical subtractive ones. They thought of everything and they added basically every important, every notable waveform you can think of. And you can even load your own as uh, samples and uh, stuff like that, which is pretty fun. Your envelope section, which we'll get into uh, per layer here. All right, so each layer has its own kind of, it's its own separate synth. LFOs here, we have our LFOs and these are global LFOs, so a single LFO can affect something in layer one or layer two. Very exciting. Uh, our effects section, uh, usual suspects, vocoder, chorus, echo, reverb, or delay, uh, and all that. We can route them. We can have different sends and buses, and uh, we have a compressor here. And uh, yeah, we have our preset in our browser. So you click on preset. If you made a sound, you want to save it. You type in your name, which is, hey, look, it's me. And then you can uh, click save, and then it'll save forever. And you can have it forever. You can go back and, you know, tweak it even more and make, like, new revisions or, um, you know, do all sorts of fun stuff. Uh, macro controls, which you can kind of map with uh, the modulation matrix, which is over here. And you can have pages upon pages of your modulation matrices. You can sort by uh, source and target. You can source automatically. You can just do all sorts of fun stuff. So if, say if you wanted to uh, say, uh, okay, I want to look at everything that I mapped to uh, my filter, you can do that. So you go by target, and then you go uh, layer one, filter, and da, da 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 right? Pretty fun. And you can do that. Settings, you know, you can change your skin, defaults, uh, quality, I'm going best, uh, pitch bend range, and all of that fun stuff. Uh, browser. So this is another cool thing for those just getting into the synth game. Uh, you have pages upon page. Well, you have like a lot of presets here. Just a lot. They just go on forever, and they're all very usable. U usable. And uh, yeah, you can just go crazy and uh, go through them. Uh, basic uh, layer mixing and boost which does some really fun things. X, Y controllers as well. So basically thought of everything. And each uh, kind of preset comes with its own uh, macro control, which you can map to like a performance keyboard or your push or whatever. And uh, that's uh, all about good. Um, yeah, that concludes the general topology and UI. Um, yes, that is it for now. And we will be back with some more fun things. All right, take care and have a good one.